We're gonna go over the add bone tool. So one of the first things that is really important to know about Moho or Anime Studio is they're going to have dynamic menus. Basically right now, all you see is your layer and your camera and your workspace menu, but you don't see anything related to bones. That's because that's gonna take place over here. This is your layers palette. I have this character that was created by Ogusan Gundas that could also be found in your character library in Moho Pro 12. So if I click here on this character group and I expand this, you can see all of the assets that make up this character, his head, his arms, legs, etc. Now this character is inside of a group. What I can do in order to make bones work is I could actually right click and I can go to convert this group to a bone. Now, if you saw there on the left-hand side, when I clicked that, this tools palette dynamically changed in order to work with bones. But there's another way to do that as well. If you don't already have this inside of a group layer, I'll go ahead and hit back. So let's go ahead and let's take this character and all of his assets. Let's drag it outside of the group folder, William and I'll delete that folder. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to the top layer, I'll go to my new layer button, I'll click that, and I'll go down to bone. So now I just created a bone layer. Let's go ahead and give it the name of William. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take all the assets and I'm gonna drag it into this layer. Cause just like the group layer, the bone layer can also hold multiple assets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the head I'm gonna hit shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna click on shoe. So that is the last layer. All of those are now gonna be highlighted. Now clicking and holding, I'm gonna drag all of those assets into the William folder. So you see that that is outlined like so. And I'm gonna let go of my mouse. And as you can see there, everything was indented, letting me know that all of these layers are now nested inside of the William bone layer. So now that you have a bone layer created for your character, this could be either an image or for your vectors, you could go over here to the bones tool now, and you're going to select the add bone tool, which is A on your keyboard. To add a bone, you're simply going to click and drag. So to click and drag, you're going to be creating a bone, and another bone that could be created is called a pin bone. So if I could just go ahead and click, that is a pin bone. Now, there's kind of a lot to explain about both these bones, and it's best to show by example. Without getting into the details of rigging, typically when you set up your rig, you're going to be doing something like this. You'll be setting up, and I'll explain these later, a root bone. And then you'll set up your spine. So I'm simply just dragging and clicking. So I'm gonna click and drag. So now I'm doing his chest area click and drag for his head. And then what I would do is I'd hit Alt on my keyboard. This isn't necessary, this is about add bone tool. But I could hit Alt on my keyboard to select my chest and then I'd go to my arm, click and drag, click and drag. And that is how you're going to use the add bone tool. It's very simple. Now, for the pin bone tool, this is going to be used for moving certain pieces of your asset. The pin bones is only available in Moho Pro 12. So if you don't see this option, it's most likely because you're using debut or an older version of Anime Studio. So if I click on, say for example, his elbow, and I wanted to create a pin bone, this could be useful for rotating pieces as well. Once I get into parenting, this will probably make a little bit more sense, but that's just so you know what you can create using the add bone tool. So you can either create a bone, or if you simply just click, you can create a pin bone. That's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, I'm gonna cover the bone strength in Moho. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you want to help support the channel, I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.